Okay, we've done the prepare for installation. Now let's install the software. So click step two. Now you see we have a number of options here. We can install the VNX operating environment. We can install it for file. Um, we can install language packages and we can install enablers. We want to install the complete, so click next. And you see the versions here. 818.121, that is the version that we had in the RCM. So we'll take that, click next. So now it will do a series of health checks to make sure that our system is okay. These are redundant to the ones we did in the prep, but we want to make sure that there's nothing wrong before we get started. And okay, it looks like we completed successfully here. Uh, everything passed. No errors, no warnings, so click Next. Upgrade, we're going from 816.101 to 818.121. Now there's two options here. Um, we can do the reboot during it, but it won't control making sure that everything has access. Alternatively, we can do it after the upgrade. That will allow us to maintain ac access and do them one at a time. We want to do them after the upgrade, so click option two, the one that is not all red and then click Next. Now it's going to do the install of the blades. This will take about half an hour. And we're done. Uh, we can look at the steps that were done by clicking Show Steps and then click Next to run the post-upgrade health check. Now it's going to uh, retrieve the logs and run through, you see there's a total of 94 checks that it will now do. This takes a couple of minutes. And as you can see we finished uh, 73 successful one warning. Let's go find the warning. Uh, NTP. Uh, yeah, these are lab machines and we haven't set up NTP. Uh, that